YouTube, what's up, man? I want to bring you guys a mini scheme, help you guys get started, man. Man, season is right here, it's here now. We're ready to play, ready to win these rewards. Uh, I hope weekend league opens up this weekend, but if not, head to head is giving out great rewards. Now, if you want to watch me play live, hit that link below twitch.tv slash dub dot. If you haven't been there so far, you've been missing out. Also, you can sub to the channel. We're doing Wednesday night sub only streams. What that is, is just a lab session, kind of like how we're going to do in this video, just breaking down certain plays, certain defenses, and how to do certain things. So that's if you sub to the channel on Wednesdays. Also, the podcast is every Tuesday, 7 p.m. I'm sure you guys have checked that out by now. Also, but this mini scheme is going to be in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And lucky for you guys, that's the same playbook that my cluster ebook is in. So if you guys haven't checked that out, head over to manturf.com. You can get the cluster ebook to mix in with this pistol spread formation that I really like and adds a lot of unique things to the game with the RPOs being pretty decent this year, honestly, against certain looks. Um, this pistol spread can really give your opponent a lot of trouble, especially if they're running the 3 4 defense that I know a lot of you guys have come across. And if you're not running that, that's also a man turf. But let me give you guys something uh, just to get you started, just to get you rolling. And this is the pistol spread. What I love about this formation one is four wide receivers. There's no slow tight end. I know a mutt, all the tight ends suck right now. So being able to put four wide receivers out is definitely going to help you. Also, on top of that, man, what's going to help you even better is that this formation is spread out and it's completely symmetrical. It's not like shotgun where you know which side the run's going to, you know you know who's getting the ball, where's the running going to go. This being symmetrical with the running back right behind the uh, quarterback is definitely something that's going to really give your opponent a lot of trouble if they're trying to guess where the run is going and so on and stuff like that. But uh, the main run, I like, I like the zone alert bubble. And I also, I, I mean, I like to stretch. You know, the stretch for, because you're spread, you don't have a lot of blockers. The stretch isn't going to, you know, really kill anything. But what what it's going to do is give you a run to the outside. And I, I like the bubbles rather than these, um the quick screens. I like the bubble screens. Now, this will give defense trouble if they're in this 3-4. Let's just try a 3-4, maybe a pinch dog 2 press, something like that. Now, this is what I mean about being symmetrical is that your opponent really has no idea what side the run's going to or what side the bubble screen is going to. Now, we flip it here. We'll be able to get the ball out to Edelman. Now, Edelman's not the fastest, and we didn't get the best block from that wide receiver. But using the wide side of the field, it definitely opens up the opportunity to give a Brandon Cooks or Odell Beckham. Uh, here we got Berrios in that position. Let's see what he got. And to, to do the RPO, and once again, we don't get a good block. But to do the RPOs when you're in the mid, when you're in the the middle of the handoff, as I run this to the wide side, you're going to press A. You're like in the middle of the handoff and hold A, and he'll throw it out there to him. You see, he's open. Hit hit Barrios. Get this to the sideline. Get a good enough block from the wide receiver. That corner is really shedding. But uh, as you see, that's something I like to do against three four when people are spread out. And if Listen, if, if you don't press any button, you're just going to get a decent little handoff to James White, try to get some run stick, and try to get a couple yards. So that's pretty much what makes this formation so good. It's completely symmetrical, so you can flip this run without any tells anywhere. You know, if they're users on the left, you can flip it to the right, and vice versa. Now, I don't really like running this to the short side. But as you see, we got a weird animation. But you can, if they overload one side or their user on one side, getting predictable for it. So this is one of the best RPOs in the game for me. You guys know I don't like running the ball that much. But when one's this effective, that's pretty pretty awesome uh, to use, especially for the 3, 4, and 4, 6 normal kills that too. Uh, and then I'm going to break down uh, just you know a couple passing plays. The first one we're going to go to... This is whole page right here with this auto motion to the running back. Uh, before I start, we're going to run Y corner and we're going to run Z under. But for me, uh, we always cancel this running back motion because it makes it obvious that you're passing. And it's definitely something that, you know, your opponents want to pick up on. And because we also want that running back back here to block. Now, what I like about this play, obviously, we have a corner route to Berrios, but I don't really use the corner route. What we have is Edelman on this post route over the middle. This can be any receiver you want. I might even double drag these guys and we'll put A on a streak just to run the zones out and we want to hit Edelman, essentially. But if we have to throw these drags, we'll throw these drags. So that's a nice little setup right there. We want to hit Edelman, two drags on the outside, man. This is something that can really give zone a lot of problems as we see Edelman just wide open over the middle of the field. Boom. So just pepper the zones, pepper the zones, mix the running play. This is a great setup to go ahead downfield. 
and, and get some big yards. And once again, it, it's just that you can't man anybody up because at the end of the day, this is a completely symmetrical formation. So it could be burials on this post route right here over the middle of the field. As we see, the deep blues have nowhere to go. So that's what I mean about being it's being symmetrical. You can flip it. Here we go. Boom. Uh, I want to go run this way. And there's no, your opponent has no idea that you're even audibly to flip this play around. That's something that's really good about this pistol spread. And something that will give your opponent a lot of trouble. You can run it like that. Whatever you do, you can mix up different ways to run it and get the ball to this post route over the middle. That uh, Berrios is not Edelman. But just different ways to run it. You can flip that play. So that's the first passing play I want to go over. Second one, let's go back into the playbook, boys. Uh, we can go ahead to here to spread again. I told you. PA deep in is pretty much the same thing, but it's just a post route to the other person. Uh, we're going to go to wide corner now. This is the uh, the the play that I like running. Once again, we're just running against cover three. Now we have a post route to Demarius Thomas. So I might even do something like this where I, I block the running back every time. I have a whip route to Edelman. I have a slant to Dorsett. And I have their post route to Thomas. Now this is something I like to take advantage of because deep blue zones are nowhere to be found. Demarius Thomas. And the way I like that, that, that diving catch animation, man, you guys have probably played against it and get pissed off that people are catching catching the ball in front of you like that with that diving catch. What I do is I pass lead down, try to get the ball away from the deep blue zones, and then hold Y. And he'll, I mean, sometimes he'll go get it like that. Sometimes he'll lay out and catch it. So this is just another play that you can mix in for kind of a pulse route on a different player. So if they start manning up, you know, your slot receivers or they start you know, playing aggressive coverage here and there, you can definitely mix it up and hit a pulse route to another player. Once again, we can flip the formation, make it completely symmetrical. They don't know where the pulse route's coming from. Boom, we hit door set. But like I said in many videos, in my ebook as well, man, you have to go into a play like this assuming that they're going to throw the ball to X, that they're going to cover X. Your post is not going to be the option. So, and some, some one of my ads is going off crazy right now. Yeah, there it is. See, that's what happens when you leave Twitch open. So if you guys, if you guys are, <laughs> don't leave Twitch open, go to <laughs> twitch.tv slash dub dot. Leave that open so every once in a while, you know, an ad gets played in the background. But like I said, we're like I said, they're probably going to go ahead and they're going to guard X. So you gotta give yourself another option. Sometimes I'll hitch Edelman. That way I can throw the slant over top or you know. Playmaker Edelman, just give you give yourself options all over the field, assuming that they're going to cover X, and they're not going to allow you to throw that. So if you mix in the runs, these two runs in the play, and you go ahead and you mix in these two passes where you can switch what post route these players are on, this formation can be very deadly for you to mix in with that Arizona cluster uh, that I definitely have the ebook out on on Madden Turf, the cluster, and if you mix in this this uh, spread pistol spread. In between the bubbles, the post routes to three and four different players, uh, it's really effective. And then another thing about about spread, you know, you come out here and we'll play against a little cover three because cover three to me is, is always going to be the, the meta early in the year. Uh, you're going to have, I mean, Brady messing up. You're going to have the ability to run four verticals straight down the middle of the field. So being able to run four verticals straight down the middle of the field always will give your opponent a little bit of trouble. Whether he's in cover two or cover three. I mean, Brady, I guess Brady doesn't want to run four verticals. But it is an option you can bring out every once in a while. There it is. Thank you. If you're going to run four verticals against the cover three, I would assume, I would tend to throw the seam route to the short side of the field. Why? Because the safety is going to peel off. The safety is going to peel off to the wide side of the field. That's how cover three works. So essentially, because that safety is going to pull off to the right, then you're going to have the seam over here to the left because, he, I mean, he has to get to the wider side of the field and essentially leaves the left corner on, on an island to try to guard two people. He's always going to guard the outside streak, so it's easy for you to laser that pass in, but Brady just doesn't want to make that pass right now. Maybe I'm throwing it a tad early. Hold on to the ball a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Okay. You see Edelman catching the ball. Safety really nowhere to be found right there. So, for me, this is a great formation for you guys to mix in. If you if you bought the cluster ebook, if you're not, if you don't then buy an ebook, you just want to try something new. If you want to try some new new RPOs, you want to mix in the run, mix in the pass, and also keep your opponent on their toes. 
because the spread is a thousand percent uh what you call symmetrical so you can disguise where you're going with the ball you can definitely keep them keep them guessing as far as where is where the run is coming from where the bubble screens are coming from and essentially where the post routes are coming from as we see this is the stretch against three four uh it's tough to run a stretch against three four because you don't like i said you don't have the tight ends and what's going to happen is your wide receiver out here Berrios is going to have to block. Oh, this one might, this one might get busy. Boom, right there. So the stretch is an option. The bubbles are an option. And the two pass plays are, are definitely a. Uh... So we're going three four. They're, they're giving me cover three shell. I'm going to go ahead and run the bubble to the right. All I got to do is read that outside linebacker. B will block that corner. So all I have to do is read that outside linebacker, man. If I can hit that. If the outside linebacker bites down on the run, I can just hold A and get the ball to Berrios. If not, I'll just run the ball. Bites down a little bit, enough to get it to Berrios, and use that speed of it being a wide receiver to get outside and pick up a nice 20-yard gain. So that's definitely a play that kills cover th or kills cover three and kills three four. Once again, I'm just going to run run the stretch here. We see Berrios really holding that edge on the linebacker, man. That's crazy that a wide receiver can block a linebacker. But like I said, this is just a formation that I love. Uh, definitely one that you guys can mix in if you bought the Arizona Gun Cluster ebook, man. Let me know what for, what playbooks you guys want to see ebooks or little mini schemes out of, or you want to see me help you with you with whatever playbook you guys are running, man. What playbook are you guys running? What playbook do you like? What playbook do you want me to try to find some gems in? Because I will get it done for you guys. Hit that like button, comment below. What playbook are you running now? And do you like Arizona?